Hello, my name is Kobe, and today my science project is showing what materials are conductors and what are insulators. So first, because I need the tiny bulb in here, I'm going to remove this from the flashlight. Now I have this, but now, because I'm not going to need this now, I put it to the side. So I get my tiny bulb from right in here. So here's my tiny bulb. I just remove it from here and I put that off to the side. So now I get my battery and my two wires and then this electrical tape will help me tape it for here so it won't come off and move around. And before, I already taped it together so I can go and more start with it and it'll be easier for me. So now I get this. And so I put this one right on the bottom right here. This one will go right here to the side and it works. And so now time this to see what a, which is a conductor and insulator. So I have these four materials, penny, a dollar coin, an eraser, and an apple. So first let's test the penny. So we put this right here. Now we put the bulb on top of the penny and connect. So it works. So then this must be a penny is a conductor. So now I move this off to the side. Let's test the dollar coin. It works. So now I also know that the dollar coin is a conductor. Now let's see if the eraser will work. Nope. Oh no. So no, it's not working. So then this eraser must be an insulator. Now let's test the last object, an apple. Nope. No light turning on. So then this means this is an insulator. So now these four objects, we can tell which is an insulator or conductor.